And via Roscosmos Television, you can see uh, the Soyuz descending under its main parachute. That uh, white vapor that you see venting is normal. That white vapor is a combination of hydrogen peroxide and oxygen venting into the air. This is uh, deliberate uh, to safe the vehicle for landing so that no hazardous gases remain in the tanks when the soft landing engines fire about two seconds before the vehicle touches down. Touchdown. Right on the money. A textbook touchdown on the steppe of Kazakhstan at 6.59 a.m. Central Time, 7.59 a.m. Eastern Time, 4.59 p.m. at the landing site in Kazakhstan. Tracy Dyson is home after 184 days in space. Oleg Kononenko and Nikolai Chub are home after 374 days in space, a record for an International Space Station mission. The first Soyuz well, crew member coming out the castle. And uh, the first crew member, likely Oleg Kononenko, the Soyuz commander, yeah. being helped out of the uh, center seat. And there he is. 374 days in space on this flight, waving to the crowd. 1,111 days in space on his five space flights. Please be careful. He's now coming down the slide. And then he'll be moved into his chair over, over right in front of the capsule, where he'll be checked out by some of his broad causes, medical personnel and others. And then it looks like they're already working to get the next crew member out. Move him up. <clears throat> Should be Tracy Dyson. <laughs> Here comes Tracy. <laughs> and there's NASA astronaut Tracy Dyson making her way out. She's turning around and then she'll go down the slide. All smiles on her face currently as she's being helped out. Yeah. <laughs> 